Wedding photographer fights off armed attackers to save couples' photos in San Francisco. This is at the San Francisco Palace of the Fine Arts. This is this is a crazy one. This is broad daylight. Nice young couple getting married. Photographer in there doing his thing. Got a big bag of equipment. Mmm, not good. Photographer literally does hand-to-hand combat with these two guys to keep these folks' photos of their wedding day. Their wedding day. I mean, wild, wild stuff, right? It's like San Francisco, anything goes. All right, let's check this out. Let's see what we got going on in here. The attack was one of two separate robbery attempts of photographers at the same location on the same day. This is not good. You see a pattern established here? Well, we know a bunch of people are going to have their pictures taken, and those photographers have those expensive cameras and expensive lenses and expensive filters, expensive flashcards. I've known a, a handful of uh, folks. I know a handful of folks that are in the wedding photography business. They carry around thousands of dollars worth of equipment because that are the those are the tools of their trade. It's not unlike the plumbers that we saw a few months ago in. Like, where was it? Somewhere in California. It, you know, basically just got their whole, the whole van jacked because they've got a whole bunch of equipment in there. Or news crews in San Francisco. Was that about a year ago? Or sometime during the pandemic? Just armed robbery, armed attack because their tools of their trade, you know, are in their vans. They're in their backpacks. If they're a photographer, carry around a lot of stuff. They're just walking targets. So this is just kind of one more thing that people need to be aware of. Hey, even if you're in public and it's at noon, beware, you might get robbed, have an armed robbery happen to you. Wedding photographer fought off a brazen daytime attack by two armed men in San Francisco to save the film memories of his clients. Was it the filmed memories of his clients or was it his equipment he didn't want to get jacked because that's how he makes his livelihood? Yeah, one one and the same, right? But the film memories, yeah, you, you want to keep those as well. But is your life worth a flashcard? Mm, no, probably not. The attack happened right in front of the horrified bride and groom. You can see it happen. All right, so for those of you on Reasonable TV, the paid subscription subscription service, you're going to be able to watch this f- uh, footage. For the rest of you, you can Google this and you'll be able to get the video. I can't show it here because it's, um, you know, it's a, crime in action. And we can't do that. That's no go. All right. So this was a engagement photography session. The attack happened right in front of the horrified bride and groom. And it was one of two separate assaults on photographers in the same day at the same location. Both incidents were caught on video. So San Francisco's Palace of Fine Arts, it's no, this area, it's like a park. It's like a, you know, park lawn. It's you know, a great place to go and have that as the backdrop to your pictures because you're going to get married to this person and be with them the rest of your lives, right? The rest of your life forever till you're not. Well, anyway, but you want to have nice pictures. And then you've got these two jokers that come up with masks and hoods and each had a, I think each one of them had a gun. I couldn't quite tell, but it looked like at least one of them had a, gu- a gun. Both incidents were caught on video. It's just, this is becoming so brazen because these criminals have zero reason to not do this, right? Even if they get caught, they're not going to probably even get prosecuted and nothing's going to happen. That's if the police get to them, if they can identify them. I mean, all of the odds are stacked in the criminal's favor. It just is. So till you start unwinding this, expect these criminals to become more and more brazen. We've literally got escape from New York conditions going on out here. And this is one of them. One photographer from Dallas who requested to be anonymous for his safety says he flew into San Francisco for the day to take a couple's engagement photos the afternoon of November 9th. In video taken by an eyewitness, two masked and armed men. Okay, so maybe they both are armed suddenly approach the photographer right in front of the bride and groom. And they try and wrestle back and forth over the backpack because that's where all the goods are, right? The would-be victim, a new would-be, a new father who acknowledges he wasn't thinking carefully about the potential consequences, successfully wrestles his camera bag back out of the suspect's hands. 
I mean, I, to me, this kid just reacted. These are all, I'm going to say these are people in their 20s. I'm totally guessing maybe early 30s at the latest, but based on how they look and dress, I'm going to say these are all either mid-20s to mid-30s tops, somewhere in there. At one point, he was even pistol whipped during the incident. Just, you know, butt of the pistol, boom, he's got banged on because they want him to give up his bag and he didn't. He spoke exclusively to our sister station, KGO TV in San Francisco to describe the harrowing experience. I was just freaked out. I tried to protest the client's, or I tried to protect the client's memories. Man, at that point in time, I'd be trying to protect my own memories. I'd be protecting my own ability to have future memories. That's what I'd be protecting. Here's the bag. See you later. Bye-bye. You know, I mean, your life isn't worth protecting over somebody's memories. But you know, everybody's got their own little perspective. The bride was crying the whole time. Well, because it's really upsetting for your engagement photographer to be pistol whipped and robbed in broad daylight at a very famous park in San Francisco. Not reasonable, right? He says he'll never work at the Palace of Fine Arts again and encourages couples to no longer hold photo shoots there. That makes absolute sense. Not hold photo shoots there. And when you're two for two on photo shoots going sideways and being robbed, I'd say that's a good call. Earlier in the day, a photographer from the Bay Area witnessed another photographer being robbed at gunpoint outside the Palace of Fine Arts. In the video he recorded, you can see a suspect run away with a gear bag. That's what they're after, right? The gear bag. I look at my gear bag sometimes and you know, I don't have super expensive stuff, but I've got a bunch of GoPros. You, know, you could get a little bit of money for them, but even... You know, a, a, a good Hero 11 is going to be 400 bucks now, something like that. 500 bucks used. What is it? A couple hundred bucks, maybe. Pond, you know, you're going to get, what, 50 bucks, 25 bucks, 50 bucks, something like that. Maybe you get a little bit of money for the bag. and But all the other crap, yeah, they're just going to dump. They're just, somebody's going to tell them, nah, there's not much value here. You're not going to take the time to go sell it online, right? So... You know, most of this stuff just ends up in the dump somewhere because it doesn't have value to be pawned. So both incidents reported the San Francisco Police Department. Nothing's going to happen. Authorities have not reported any additional details. So just another couple of robberies that, you know, makes it for a day ending in Y in San Francisco. That's That's any day at all. So wild times, but not unexpected. You know, my last podcast, I talked about nice young couple. We're on kind of a wedding roll here. Nice young couple went from Vancouver, BC, just to the north of me, down to Napa, California, wine country. Got married. On their way back, they're doing a mini honeymoon. They're doing a little bit of traveling. And yeah, they stop in Portland overnight. Stop in downtown Portland overnight. They're going to be in a nice hotel. They do not park. And I, I I wasn't able to confirm whether that hotel had a parking garage, but they parked on the street. Maybe it was outrageously expensive, you know, to park your car in the hotel parking garage, but maybe they didn't have one. Who knows? It's Portland. You just don't know. So they parked their car in the street. Unfortunately, they came out next morning and window had been bashed in and you know the bride's her dress her wedding dress was gone the groom's blazer was gone that was super expensive they lost a macbook computer bunch of stuff you know I, i'm envisioning they took in their you know overnight bag into the hotel left all the rest of their stuff in their car on the street overnight in downtown portland ooh not good not good. And then they wondered, you know, why this happened to them and why they hadn't been warned about downtown Portland. You go watch that podcast, to, you know, get my take on that. But you see where I'm going with that. But same deal here in San Francisco. Why wouldn't this happen? Why wouldn't this happen? There's, there's no reason this wouldn't happen. I mean, this is easy pickings. You see somebody in a park and you know, the repercussions are probably minimal and the police probably aren't going to do anything. And even if they do find you and arrest you, prosecutors, criminal justice system in San Francisco, it's going to turn those guys out, you know, next day, no bond, you know, no bail, just, eh, they're just going to let them go. Hey, here's a date for your, you know, misdemeanor, whatever, because we're going to determine that the value of this stuff is, it was armed robbery, you know, maybe something to that, but this is going on on the regular. This is happening on the regular, whether it's retail theft or armed robbery or carjackings. These things are happening on the regular 
It's just not reasonable. It's not a society we should be living in. And yet we are because there's policy in place that basically allows this stuff to go on. Why wouldn't these criminals? That's the real question is why wouldn't these criminals do this? That's the real guts of it. And when you start to go look at that list, you're like, oh, well, yeah, this makes absolute sense. And it does. From a cause and effect standpoint, this makes absolute sense that this stuff is happening you know, on the daily. So people want to talk about gun control. All right. Bet you anything, the guns these these armed robbers are using are stolen. So yeah, try and control that. Yeah. Wild stuff, right? Now, you need to have laws on the books that put people in jail. Got to put people in jail. Get them off the streets. This kind of stuff can't be encouraged, and yet we are. So there's that, right? Yeah, we're just letting it happen. Why wouldn't this happen? All right. That's it for me on this one. Thanks so much for being here. We'll catch up on the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>